In this demonstration we show the interaction between the R client and the Rock backend, which operates on an underlying Rosterman instance. At first we're going to connect to the Rock backend and list all the capabilities. Those are the endpoints that are um, currently implemented on the backend. And for example, we can then list all the collections that are available on the server. We have a whole lot of Sentinel images. And we pick one of the Sentinel images and describe it. Here you can see the band identifiers, as well as the extent of the imagery in space and also in time. So in order to create the process graph, we need to know which processes are available. And we can then further describe each process to see what, what it does and what argument it, arguments it needs to perform. For example, the NDVI uses as, as arguments the red, near and imagery arguments. Uh, which have different values. Then we create a task. We chain together the collection and different processes. In this case, we select a Sentinel image, filter the bounding box, filter the date range, calculate the NDVI by stating the red band and the near infrared band. And at last, we process the minimum value over time of those images. So then we can say that we want to execute the task and to download a TIFF file. And we will get back the data as well, uh, of course, and we start uh, at urogtest.tiff as you can see here, and then we can see the imagery that we just downloaded at the right side. As an addition to the synchronous execution of the job, we can also define a job on the backend by sending the task to it and specify the output format. And what, as a result, we get back the job ID, which we can use to to see what we stored on the back end. This is the job. We have the process graph in it, this, its current status, and some other metadata. So then we can execute the process graph on the data on the back end and download the result by calling download job. Here we get back uh, the raw data. We can write it as binary to, to the file system and re-import it and show it on the right side.